Hey everybody, it's Derek and Lizzie. We're back with the board game spotlight game night. Tonight we're excited to bring to all of you Plunderbund. This is from Hoochoo Games, uh, designed by Woody Hutzel and Adam Chun. Mm -hmm. Who is in the comments tonight. Hi! Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. And Adam, thank you for being here. And if uh, Woody joins as well, thank you for <laughs> taking the time. So, Plunderbund is a game um, about like this utopian sprawl and you are working inside of it to do like back alley dealings, right? It's like this kind of fantasy Chicago. I don't know if I call it a utopia. Do you know? Well, what not utopia a utopia. Means? I don't mean utopia, but like this uh, meta, this metatopia, this place. It's called the sprawl. Yeah. It's like this, this. It's a city. It's a thriving city, city but there's a city. It's a fantasy valley. Chicago. It's sure, what yeah. it is. Um, or New York City, In but like I'm gonna 20s. go with Chicago. Yeah, and um, so it's got worker placement. It's got mm -hmm. action selection, a little bit of deck building. Uh, it has resource tracks, which we'll show mm -hmm. you. Get some area control elements. Yep, lots of really fun goodness happening on this board. Uh, mm -hmm. Plays two to five players. Mm -hmm. It is currently live on Kickstarter. The link to the Kickstarter is in the description. So if you want to check it out, please go take a look and see if it's something that uh, you're going to be interested in. Hopefully mm -hmm. through this playthrough. You'll be able to find out if it's something you want to go check out. Hopefully it is. Yeah, we hope that uh, you'll get a sense of how the game plays, because that is our job. Mm -hmm. um, but essentially, we're guilds. Yep. We're trying to become the the leading guild. The we're, kingpin. The kingpin. We're, we're rival guilds, and uh, that's what it is. I just want to say I love the fantasy setting. I love the combination mm -hmm. of the prohibition, like... 20s vibe with fantasy. Mm -hmm. It's super cool. It's really uh, cool. And the artwork is super good. Yeah. Um, so and I just gotta point out, like, <laughs> you're gonna see them during the game. His little but meeples. they made little clay, beep, 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 like, meeples with, like, little hats, <laughs> and they're, like, the cutest things. I love them. But, like, they have, like, little pointed ears. You can't really see it. But it's... They're, they're amazing. We'll try and show them off when we're using them during the game. Oh, for sure. 100% we'll have to. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, I see a lot of really, um, Awesome people in the chat. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. I see some new faces, old faces. Uh, so thanks for being here. Let's dive into people. the Blood table. Boom. All right. This is the sprawl. Mm -hmm. We are going to attempt mm -hmm. to control the sprawl. And also, we need to um, yep. here, grab it. these demand coins. We need to seed it with three to begin the game. Okay. Now, the demand coins are going to be really one of the few ways that we score victory points in the game. Eight. So, eight, yep. And we're also going to start the game either an eight or 14. Nine. So, you place your meeple out there to start okay, the game. Something. 14. Okay, cool. So, okay. I am going to go. I'm going to oh, give these two to these you. Guys? Yeah, he put one of your. Eight. Oh, not an agent, I'm sorry. Okay, just a, I, I mean, put an agent, not a racketeer. Yes. So there are two different types of units, um, and I'll oh, show I'm off here you. in the camera here. We have a racketeer. With the little pointy ears. With and then mouth. we have our agents. So our agents have these, these little fedoras, and then our racketeers have... Like newsboy caps. Like, yeah, caps, uh, which are super cool. And they have pointy ears. Can't forget that. They do have pointy ears. It's very important to me. <laughs> it's important. Okay, uh, so this is a two to five player game. We're playing on the two to three player map. So these are the resource tracks. Mm -hmm. They're called competition tracks. What we're trying to do is be the leader on that track mm -hmm. because whoever is leading is going to have the ability to be the first to fulfill these demand coins. And I'm gonna put a demand coin over here on screen so you can see it. Each of the demand coins correlates to one of the four tracks. You mm -hmm. have uh, price, quality, appeal, and ingenuity. Mm -hmm. So what you're trying to do is bump yourself up so then you get the opportunity to turn things. it in. Right. You know. Now we're gonna do that by placing these agents and racketeers at the various locations. You'll notice that there are um, these closed merchant mm -hmm. symbols, which means that those are closed for us unless we have a specific card mm -hmm. that allows us to open it. Mm -hmm. um, so right now we only have a certain number. Two in each. Right. There's four sections and two are open in And each that's section. the way that the game, you know, restricts scales and tightens and scales two. for two. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, cool. So we also have four different sections of the board. Mm -hmm. At the end of the game, whoever has the majority in that district mm -hmm. is going to score five points and then three and then one. Mm -hmm. So 
there is some air, light oh, area control yeah. in the game that you have to be aware of. Conscious of, otherwise you're going to get whooped like I did in this game. <laughs> we also have a starting deck of cards. Mm -hmm. Through this deck of cards, we're going to be able to take all of our actions. Now we're going to get to upgrade this deck, mm -hmm. so it is a light deck builder. Mm -hmm. And I'll throw some of the cards down here so you can see them. They're going to have actions mm -hmm. that they have um, here on the right side. So they all have two things that you can do. Um, no, not all of them. Well, most of them. Most of them. But like the copper pincher um, yes. only lets you do one, which is to raise the price. So the ones, yeah. But as so, you upgrade them, there are ones that let you. Correct. There are there are some things you can upgrade to do two actions. So mm -hmm. the whole economy for what you're doing with your cards is that when you want to play a card mm -hmm. and when you want to take an action, if it has a, a hand, mm -hmm. um, basically you are asking for a favor. Okay, so there's the card. What that means is you have to take a favor card to add to your deck. So this goes underneath your card when you activate it on your turn, mm -hmm. and then everything goes into your discard pile, which means that your your deck is actually going to it's going to kind of become fluffed up, like with mm -hmm. cards you don't want. Because you had to pay the FL savers. You can't just give a bunch, get a bunch of stuff without giving it back. Yeah, you can't just gate a favor from some mob boss in Chicago and not expect to have to pay it back at some point, right? I mean, or else you're going to be you're going to lose your kneecaps. <laughs> so, so here's the cool thing, though. Mm -hmm. You take favors that go into your deck, but then when you draw them, mm -hmm. they are considered returned, and mm -hmm. you just get rid of them. So jumping up on this ingenuity track can be really important because this is the main way that you gain uh, cards. Because each round you're going to draw five, but mm -hmm. then if you go all the way up the ingenuity track, you're going to get to draw up to seven mm -hmm. cards, which is a great way to reduce the favors from your deck. It is, yeah. You also have appeal, which is going to um, just, just give victory, victory points. points. You get high enough. Your quality is the way that you can trade in uh, goods. Mm -hmm. So we have these goods here. Yes. Um, these are warehouse supply mm -hmm. goods. These are used to actually fulfill your demand coins. Mm -hmm. So when we go into the tally phase, mm -hmm. there are three rounds to each uh, season, mm -hmm. and then there's a tally phase in which we can fulfill demands. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's two ways this works. Mm -hmm. The first way is with your racketeers. If you mm -hmm. have a racketeer in that location, you simply get to just take the coin and mm -hmm. score two points. Yep. Okay? If you don't have a racketeer there, mm -hmm. it then goes to whoever is highest on the track. Mm -hmm. So whoever's highest on this appeal track would be able to fulfill this appeal mm -hmm. demand coin. Whereas this one, it's that one would be is quality. highest on the quality. Right. So if I were ahead of Lizzie, I would be able to first use my resources to pay for this. If I don't have any resources, it would then go to Lizzie, mm -hmm. who can then do it. If neither of us pay for mm -hmm. it, it stays there, and those are going to accumulate. Okay. The, yeah, the, the, it's a cumulative thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so you will have to spend these goods mm -hmm. in order to do that. You can gain those goods through card mm -hmm. play. You're also going to gain goods yep. by being... Uh, higher, up. higher up on all the tracks. Mm -hmm. Here on the... Nope, um, it's just these two. Oh yeah, it's just those two. So as you get higher, you can see there's numbers on the side, so it's whatever the number in the side is, Plus. coupled with what's in the quality. Right. So you'll notice on the very bottom, it's negative one and then zero. So this, you want to get moved up so that you get into the positives, or at least into the zero. And then the higher you are here, and the higher you are here, the more goods you're going to receive. And then the quality track, as you get up higher, if you don't want to take a favor token, you could trade in four of these goods mm -hmm. for one for a favor, favor. right? So to not take, but it, it gets better. If you get up to here, two to one. So if you can really jump up that track, you can pay off favors and not take them into your deck. Absolutely, which is really nice. But you're gonna have to focus on one track. Yeah, so there really are kind of you two lines to play. I mean, you kind of need everything. You do need to balance everything, but for someone that wants to go heavy resources. Not taking favors mm -hmm. and just paying outright for favors mm -hmm. is definitely a strategy. Yes. Um, you can kind of just try to be a hybrid of the two and try to juggle it, or you can just go dive he head first into the favors mm -hmm. and just hope that you don't get a lot because at the end of the game, every favor you don't re remove from your deck is one negative victory point. Yeah, they're bad. Yeah, well, yeah you, you don't want them in your deck. So you definitely want to repay those favors. You don't want to owe anything to anyone. No, that is true. Um, you can also remove, um, so if you draw four or more favors in your turn, so like if you draw your hand of five and four or more of them are favors, you can fire a guild member to lose a victory point, um, which is kind of like another way to cull your deck. 
Um, then you're going to plan your actions. Mm -hmm. We are going to take actions based on who has the starting player for that season. Mm -hmm. So I have summer and fall. And, and I have winter and spring. Yep, so Lizzie's going to start cool. in the winter and the springtime. Um, after we plan our actions, we'll then resolve the actions. We'll take all of those actions. And then um, if you've used a guild member to go up a track, there is a chance to retire uh, guild members to gain additional points. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll get into that if it comes up mm -hmm. later. Uh, then you discard, you earn your goods mm -hmm. based on where you sit on the price and the quality, mm -hmm. and then you uh, move the month. And then if we happen to go to a tally, we'll go into what a tally mm -hmm. is. But for now, uh, we will not touch that until we get there. So We also have the Hangouts where you can send other people's Racketeers, yeah. right. So if a Racketeer goes into a location with another mm -hmm. Racketeer, you're actually going <laughs> to, it's kind of like a, a gang war. You're going to shove that racketeer out of the way mm -hmm. and it's going to go to the hangout in that location. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is that um, it will still count for majority mm -hmm. area control. It just is not going to help you at a location. Mm -hmm. You can move out of the hangouts, mm -hmm. but it's kind of difficult to move sometimes if you're not using your cards right. And you know, mm -hmm. there is that, but um, that's how you play. Mm -hmm. That's uh, just kind of the broad overview, the, the down and dirty for the rules. Uh, as we play, if you have questions, both designers are in the chat and I'm sure they'll, they would be help. We're also here mm -hmm. to help with anything that you have. So ask your questions um, and we are ready to go. Lizzie, I think you are the first player. I am in winter. So we are for in winter. January, if you want to. Correct. So yeah. we're going to so. and uh, we'll also talk about recruiting when we get there, okay. but we're not going to recruit in the first season. Okay, so it's my turn. So oh, I'm going to go first. So I'm going to go one on the ingenuity. I will go one on appeal. So that gives me two favors, one for each. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will learn to place an agent. down here, okay. which is going to make me take two favors. I will go up one on quality okay. for another favor. And then I can place a racketeer. It's going to give me another two favors, unfortunately. Okay, but let's slide these down like this so we can see them on the board. So you're placing a racketeer. Yes. Okay. Where do I want to so place right now, me? racketeers resolve before agents. Um, so keep that in mind. But you're definitely going to get a racketeer. So. Um, yes, I do have a thug, which I will be able to so place you a racketeer. Just kick me out. So I, I could. might want to go somewhere else and just hope that that gets, you know, really This is true. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to. Stay on my side of the board. <laughs> Your Stay side of the board? Here. You're like just taking control my of the side. west I am, side? I'm, I'm saying that's mine. Okay. Please, please, no gang signs. <laughs> okay. So that is my turn. All right, awesome. All right, so what my turn. Got? I have the thief, craftsman. I have a foot pad, which lets me place an agent. Mm -hmm. I also have a copper pincher, which moves my, my price up, and then I can place a racketeer myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to first... Go ahead and activate the thug. So I will need two favors to place my racketeer. Mm -hmm. So two favors there, and my racketeer is going to go in this location. Of course. I knew it. Yep, like you didn't see that coming. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go ahead and play the copper pincher, which requires one favor as well, and that's going to let me move my price up, please. Mm -hmm. Also, when going up in the tracks, um, you're going to go to the leftmost spot. Mm -hmm. So you'll notice there are three spaces. Mm -hmm. The, the first one to go to that level goes furthest left. Mm -hmm. That's important because there are cards that tell you to have first come or last com like mm -hmm. last serve. Yeah. Um, and we'll talk about that when they come up, if any of the cards mm -hmm. come up. So, okay. Um, I am actually going to move. I'm going to, instead of, oh man, I don't want to place an agent. Dang. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. That's the thing. I mean, I feel like, ah. Mm, okay. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and steal two goods from the supply. So give me one favor for that. Okay. So gain the favor there. And then I will I will go ahead and play the craftsman, so give me another favor. Oh, just one? Just one. Just one. And move the quality up. 
I really want to get those pushed up so I can start gaining more resources. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use the foot pad and I'm going to move my agent and I'm going to move here. So moving doesn't cost anything, right? No, Maybe moving is a free action. Right. <laughs> Adam says place the agent. Yeah, okay, fine, Adam. I'll listen to this designer. Place the dang agent. All right, I'm placing it and I'm staying up north. <laughs> so I have to take two favors for that. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, my discard pile has gotten quite a bit larger than what I started with. Okay. So now we're going to then um, put those in our discard, mm -hmm. draw back up to five, mm -hmm. and then we earn our goods. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna move into February. So mm -hmm. I get one mm -hmm. and you get zero. Because I'm on plus two, yep. minus one. Yep. I see that, I know that. Unfortunately, I gotta get up. All right, and then I get the starting just, tracker. Thank you very much. I will be first. So I only have three cards left in my deck, which means I'm gonna have to shuffle up my discard, which means I may draw some favors. Yep. We will see. Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna draw some favors. I have a lot. <laughs> we both do. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so there's a favor. So out of my five card hand, I drew a favor and it's immediately returned to the supply. It is. All right, and I am first. Hey, Matt, great to see you. Thanks for dropping in. Always good to uh, have you on on the chat here. So this is, this is good, this is interesting. Check this out, this is the guild leader. Mm -hmm. The guild leader is going to let me bribe, which is gain two victory points, or I can draw three extra cards, discard any favors I draw, and then I think I get to keep one. keep one of those in three, right. Um, but I do have to discard the rest. So it's draw three, repay, keep one, discard. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I don't have to, I do have to take one favor for that to activate that ability, mm -hmm. okay? So there's my, my pool of cards so far, but I get to draw three, all right? Oh, there we go. So I get rid of that favor. And you have to pick one of those And I have to, to keep. keep. Okay, so I'm gonna discard my thief. And I'm gonna keep the craftsman. So I then get to play the craftsman on this turn. So the guild leader's been finished. So I just did that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go ahead and do crap. Okay, actually I'm going the gamut. All four of these are getting activated. So I need four favors and I go up in every single, every single one. So I go up here, 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 and another one there. Mm -hmm. Whew, man, that's a lot of favors. Okay, am I my turn? It is your turn. Okay. I have one favorite to Hey Paul, I am going this to... is Plunderbund. It is currently live on Kickstarter. It is for two to five players. Uh, just had a quick question about yep. what game we were playing. Okay, so I need one, two. I have a plus one on the price. Nice. Finally. So That'll two. help you for getting, for getting uh, plus goods. Plus one on the appeal. Put me up on the appeal please. Oh, nice. So and you then wanna... I am going to do the guild leader. I'm going to draw three cards. Okay. Discard you took a favor favors. for that? I did take one. It's underneath her. Nice. So I can put that back. So you got rid of one go... favor? Yes. I'm going to go up on the quality. Nice. Okay. All right. Or, yeah, quality. Yeah, that's quality track. So you go behind me. But now that we've both gotten to the mm -hmm. zero portion here, everything up that we go up on the price is now going to be... Um, positive like goods yep. we're gonna earn. So actually right now, mm -hmm. we're gonna earn our goods. I get three and Lizzie gets two. One, two, three, I get one, two. Okay, and those are gonna go in my good storage area. Indeed. All right, you are now the first player. I we're am. gonna move to March. This is the last month in one, winter. Two, three, four, five. Okay, Let's see how many actual cards I have. One, two, three, I have four. Okay, so favors. you drew four favors. Mm -hmm. um, I've not actually seen that happen yet. I so. know. <laughs> what I'm really you can do. I'm pretty good about getting rid of my favors. All right. So if you draw four or more favors on your turn, mm -hmm. uh, you can choose to lose a reputation, which you have zero. So I don't think you can go negative. But you could fire a guild member. You search or draw or discard pile for any one guild member card and place it in the trash. Uh, reshuffle the draw pile. No, so I, I don't really think it's worth anyone. it for you. Not now. No. So I will just have a very poor turn. 
where I can play <laughs> well, you know what? agent or move You an shouldn't agent. feel too bad because yeah. I... Hold on a second. Did you I draw? way too many cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. I did. I drew one too many. Sorry. I'll put one back. Here, pick one. No, just reshuffle and then just draw five. Oh, that works. There's only one card left there. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. All right, so let's see how poor this hand is. Oh my goodness. Much better. Okay. <laughs> the favors come back to bite us. Oh, uh, but you know uh, what? That's what you do when I'm you're- I'm gonna be really dumb. I'm gonna take two and I'm gonna place an agent. Yes, all the favors. Take all of them. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, gonna be- out. I'm gonna be just as dumb as you and oh. I'm gonna activate my thug. <laughs> Two favors for me, please. As long as we're doing it together. And I'm putting a racketeer to steal this. Wow. Because we're going to go into our tally phase. So this is kind of, this is the cleanup for the month. So after we've done three rounds, mm -hmm. we go into what we call the tally phase. Mm -hmm. um, we extort. So if you have a racketeer in a location, they immediately take one of those uh, demand coins. As long as you've gone up, and that's another caveat, mm -hmm. you can't sit in the starting locations of a competition track and be able to fulfill co uh, coins. Mm -hmm. You have to be at least, you actually have to be able to fulfill it, mm -hmm. um, which is which is good. So what I can do is I'm, I'm up on appeal by one mm -hmm. and I'm up on quality by a couple. So I can actually fulfill both of these. Well, I don't even have to fulfill them. Quality? We're the same on quality. Yeah, but my racketeer extorts. Well, yeah, but you just said you're ahead. You're not ahead. Well, I am because I'm left of you, actually. So that is the way that works. You so said by a couple. Four points for me, please. Well, I get this one. I have to pay one. Well, we haven't got to that yet because then we go into... Do you have a racketeer anywhere? No? Well, uh, you do, but there's nothing there. up there. And then we're going to, um, now you can sell. Mm -hmm. So you can you can basically sell that for a victory point. Mm -hmm. All right, so you'll have to reach up there. One. Those go back in the bag. So the ones we just fulfilled go back in the bag. Well, where are yours? I just set them right oh, over there. Okay. Actually, I can bring this down a little closer. That's easier for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we do um, so now we're going to go to recruit. Uh -huh. So this is the spring mm -hmm. and Lizzie is still going to be the starting player for this season because mm -hmm. she has the starting spring token. I do. But this is where we get to build our deck mm -hmm. with more and new exciting cards. So um, these are prototype. Mm -hmm. uh, so obviously it's not final. Components and art is not final yet. But it looks very well or it looks good. For the ones that are completed, absolutely. Yeah. Well, and the graphic design and layout is solid too. It is. It's so, very easy to read. Um, okay. okay, what we do is we do an interview mm -hmm. for new recruits. Uh, we are going to reveal three cards, mm -hmm. and the first player for the season gets to pick first, mm -hmm. and then the last player. But then we do another interview, and it's reverse where I would get to go first, and then Lizzie goes last. Now, on top of these three cards, we also have. Uh, cards that are always available. Mm -hmm. So you always have the trusted advisor mm -hmm. uh, as long as the supply is there. Okay, and this specifically deals with agents. Mm -hmm. You also have the huckster, which also gives you another way to move and place agents. Mm -hmm. So another way, and you can actually seek demand. You can place it on a merchant with a demand, um, which is good. And then here, you have a prospector, mm -hmm. which actually has synergy with the footpad. If you notice underneath the prospector card there, it says um, synergy. Essentially what that means is if you play a card with that name in the same turn, mm -hmm. the named card is free. So if I played the prospector, so if I played the prospector and I also played the footpad in the same turn, my footpad would be free, mm -hmm. and I would not have to pay any favors for it. Mm -hmm. So there's synergy for building out your deck um, to kind of maximize efficiency. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. Diabolical genius. Diabolical genius. Well, I am going to take, hmm, I think I'm gonna take Gorilla Marketer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems good. Um, and these go on top of your deck. They do not go into your oh, discard, yeah. so put them on top of your deck. So now we're going to do another draft of three new uh, recruits. Okay, and I get to go first. Oh man, 
Draw five, repay favors, keep zero, discard. I love that card. That card is super good for my mm -hmm. uh, strategy. Financial mastermind as All right. well. So you took the financial mastermind. Okay. okay. So now we have to figure out how many um, tokens we're going to put out on the board. Yep. So that's where um, the left side of the, the tracks come in. You're mm -hmm. going to add it up. So there's one. Two, two, three, four, five. So five demand tokens are going to come yeah. out of the bag. So the higher we go up in so uh, the competition tracks, the oh, game is going to scale to fit yeah, that as eight. well. One, so there's going to be more of these, two, more demand as, as we're pushing these markets higher. Three, four. Okay. Five. Oh, there's some of those excess in there. Nice. Why is that 14 there? Did what? I put two out? One, two, three, four. Yeah, um, well, yeah you put two into 14. Yeah, two into 14. So um, also you can kind of track the different... Um, oh, yeah, I put them all in my discard. I just said that it goes to your top of your draw pile. I had just said that. What am I doing, silly? Um, so you all also notice on the board there are icons here next to it. So this is ingenuity. We have quality, price, appeal. So there's going to be more of those tokens specifically for that area. So if I want to move up my ingenuity, I would want to have workers here so then I'd be able to fulfill it. The same is true of almost all of them that have these uh, location markers on them. So we are going to go into April. Lizzie, mm -hmm. you are the first player. Yep, I need to shuffle and get another card because I only had four in my draw pile. All right. I have four as well, so I will need to shuffle and draw one. Okay. Ooh, only one favor. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they all they all saw me put my card on my discard pile. I, I just said you put it on your draw pile. Okay, I'm going to do my thug. I really like that, by the way. A lot of times your cards you buy go into your discard pile, but I'm no, a fan so of it going on top of your like, deck. Oh, I feel like you want to use it, right? I'm going to place a racketeer. So get out of oh, here. you scared my racketeer off. I did. Finally. That's not cool. All right, okay, so, hey. oh, we'll go doing? ahead. I was just going to show I had two favor. Well, wait until it's your turn. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do the financial mastermind. So I'm going to do one card to go up to price. Are you? One. I am. I'm also going to do one bribe to go up one ingenuity. Okay. And one quality. Okay. Oh, I took that for that. You That's took what, that yeah. favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, okay, guild leader. I'm going to take one. I'm going to draw three cards. Okay. You're going to get rid of any favors, keep one, discard one, yep. or discard the rest. Okay. All right. So between, what do you got? The city guard and the thief? I'm going to steal two goods with my thief. Okay. And you're going to take a favor for that? Yes. All right. So... In my hand, I have two favor cards, so I will turn those in. Mm -hmm. And I also have the Mall, Gorilla Marketer, and Footpad, because I knew I'd put those back on top of my deck. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use a Footpad. I would like two favors, please, which I just gave you. I know, I didn't even put them back. <laughs> I just waited for you to ask and me. And this is going to let me place an agent. I'm going to place an agent. Let's see. I'm going to be higher on... Oh, man, you're beating me on all the tracks right now. That's not cool. I'm going to go here, though. That's my racketeer. Um, and also, when we're fulfilling the merchants, you go mm -hmm. in order, like 1 one through 18. So we just got to oh, yeah. keep that in mind. Um, I also have my Gorilla Marketer, which I'm going to pay one favor to go price and appeal. So I go up here, and I go up on price. Mm -hmm. And then, with my Maul, uh, this is a neat effect. Draw 5. Repay all favors, keep zero, discard all cards. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, five. So this is this is kind of pressing my luck because I could have to discard some really bad cards. Well, really good cards for me. And it paid off. Three favors. You have six cards there. Oh, my bad. Man, they're sticking together. I am drawing way too many. They really are sticking. One, two, three, four, five. All right. What we got here? Three favors. All right. So I lost my city guard and my thief. So those are going to get discarded. But I think that was probably beneficial for probably me. In your best so, interest, yeah. All right. Let's move to May. Mm -hmm. so, and I'm the starting player. You are. Please go to my discard pile. Draw five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Um, where? Oh yeah, we gotta do that. I have. Gotta do what? Four. Yeah, we gotta get. Um, so. I get four. I get four as well. From here, you take these four. Here, give me those four. Three, four. Nice. All right. Yeah, I didn't have my my markers in place on my board here. All right. So let's see here. We need to add demand. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we need to add demand coins um, at the beginning of each of the seasons. So we generate demand. We have two, four, five, six demand coins get placed. Another six. Yes. Demand is the beginning of each of the months. So we should have had more in the winter, oh. but we need to get them out here in the spring. Okay, so, so six of them. One, so four. Two. Oh, wow. Look, so your placement over there worked out. Three. Twelve. Four. Is here. Hey, that guy. Five, six. Oh, nice. Dang. So that worked really, that worked out pretty well for you and me. Nice. Okay. It's a lot of demand. The people want their stuff. Okay. Your turn. All right. So here's one favor. Okay. I am going to place a racketeer, so I would like two favors, please. Okay. Thank you. And this racketeer is going to go... Hmm. That's a tough one. Um, it's going to go over here. Also of note, you can't have... Well, you might have your racketeer in your hands, so you could kick him out. You can't have um, two of your own agents in a space. So I could not have two of my white agents on 14, but I could have my racketeer and my agent. Mm -hmm. So there's some placement restrictions um, in that regard, just to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Oh, cool. So I have my guild leader. I'm going to activate the guild leader. So t I'll give one favor, please. I draw three, repay favors, keep one discard. Mm -hmm. So I have three cards. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to actually discard my mad scientist, but it was worth it to get rid of all those favors. Mm -hmm. And then I would like two favors. I'm going to go up both in price and quality. All right, so that ends my turn. Okay, so I'm going to repay my one favor. Okay, I am going to take two favor to place an agent. Okay, so you use the foot pad. So here's the foot pad card. It lets you place or move agents. So if maybe there's a spot on the board that doesn't have any demand and you need to move an agent into a place where you want to fulfill demand, that's a good use of the card. Are you placing an agent? Right now you have me beat on all but price. So you're highest up on... Hmm. <laughs> Which one do I think? Yeah, I'm gonna go here. Okay. So you okay. did your foot pad, and then what's next? Oh, you took it from me? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I had the favors for it. Let me go one on ingenuity, please. Oh, going up on, dang it. One I've been trying to go on quality. ingenuity <laughs> so I can draw more cards. Okay, so quality, I am now on three to one, because I hit that. So you're up on the three to one trade, mm -hmm. and you're also up, or you're almost up on the draw. And then I'm plus one on oh, spice. And this is last move advantage. Okay, so last move advantage, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So you want to show that? Oh. Yeah, so this specifically has the uh, trait last move advantage, mm -hmm. which means when played, um, if you're behind, you get to go into first place. Mm -hmm. um, which I did. Indeed you did. And now I have a ton of favors. Okay. <laughs> You have a ton of favors, but so do I. I know. That's the good thing about this game. It's valid. <laughs> All right, so we're going to June. Mm -hmm. We need to generate demand. So, so one, we need... two, three, four, five, six, eight. Yeah, it went up because you one, bumped it two, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, my goodness. Now 15 has Ooh, one. Oh, now we eight, need to get people over there. 12 has another. Four, 16 has another uh, six. Nope, that's a nine. Oh my gosh, there's so many at four. <laughs> there's so many over there. I should have gone to four. I was between the two. Well, you're already there. You know, can only have one agent there. If you have a racketeer. You could put your racketeer there. My racketeer there is there. I need to put an agent there so that if you try oh. to assault my racketeer, I still have presence there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do.
for oh, sure. Oh, I'm first. <laughs> so, fuck it. No! Um, we also need our supplies, by the way. We need our supplies. Yeah, I have one, two, three. No, no, no. I have five. I have five as well. One, two, three, four, five. And you have one. Oh, yeah. One, two. Did you three, shuffle your discard pile? Four. Or your draw pile together? All I had was five cards. Oh, you had five cards left? Yeah. Yeah. You want to see what my five cards are, guys? Oh, <laughs> that's why you. Heavy favor. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that's a life you're living. I mean, in my, in my, in your defense, I also have two, so I'm oh, getting two. You have two. Oh Would no. Would you like to lose victory points to fire a guild member? No, I do not. <laughs> okay. All I'm right. Rethinking my life decisions, though. <laughs> you have so many goods. You should just straight up pay for them. Well, like I I'm not taking any more if favors. If I don't have any, any cards to pay for. <laughs> Okay, so I'm actually now you have me scared. I don't know if I want to take any more favors. Um, well, don't do it, kids. It's not <laughs> worth it. So I'm at four to one, which is not good because I need this. I need my my goods to pay for these demand coins. So I will give me two favors. Come on. I I'm like to see that. Placing another I racketeer. Uh, I'm gonna place this racketeer here on sixteen. And then, uh, hmm, uh, I'll pay four to one to not take a favor for this one. And I go up price and appeal. So I go up here and I go up on price. So I actually go, I gain both of those. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to place another agent. I'm, I'm going to have to take two more favor. Mm. I mean, there's, there's not much I can do about that. Um, I don't want to pay goods. So, uh, I'm going to place an agent on, I guess, 15. Oh, man. I'm going to place it here with 16. Um, because there's two there. Um, let me just... Yeah, I want to go ahead and go into tally phase now. Mm -hmm. So, during the tally phase, let's put this in our discard. Uh, at the end of our turn, though, we do need to earn our goods. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to earn... Uh, what is? What am I on over there? Earning our goods. Five? Mm -hmm. So I get five and you get five. Mm -hmm. Do we have more of these somewhere? I feel like we did. Um, I think there's some in the box. I can get some more out. Uh, well, we're going to be turning them in. Yeah. So, I mean, well, it shouldn't we'll be... we'll wait until we get there. Yeah, we're exactly. Spending them for stuff. <laughs> we're going to be spending them for sure. Uh, I just want to double check on the... Paying for the um, I could ask Adam. goods. I got it. Okay. Um, so we compare, yeah, we compare and then the player's higher, then they get to decide to take the demand coins that they're willing to fulfill. Otherwise, passes to the remaining players. Um, and then I don't think you go up on the track for earning. When all merchants resolve, you earn a reputation for each. Yep. Okay, I just want to make sure that you didn't go up on that specific track for mm -hmm. buying it. And I didn't mm -hmm. think you did, but for some no. reason, that was stuck in my head. Okay. So, three. So, so, you have a racketeer. I do have a racketeer, and I'm highest on price, which means I'm going to take this mm -hmm. for two points. So, can you go ahead and move me up um, two this points? This is price. No, no, no. Oh, so. I'm leaving the price because I'm get Oh, wait, you're going to get to it because I have an agent. Whatever, it's fine. Here, I got it. Okay. So, I get two points for that. Mm -hmm. And then four, so there you have a racketeer, so you get to take one well, first. So if we finish all the things, nope, oh, we'll just we got a racketeers two. first, okay. and then um, we do our agents. One of my highest, uh, there's one of each there. I will do quality. <laughs> okay, so you go up two points. Can you reach it? Yeah. Um. Then there's a racketeer at eight. Yep. So I'm going to take, oh man, there's like three different ones. Mm -hmm. So I'm ahead on, pro, oh, but I don't have an agent there, so it doesn't matter. So I'll just take this one. Mm -hmm. So I go up another two. Okay. Then I have a racketeer. Twelve. Nope. Fourteen. Yep, I have a racketeer. You have a racketeer here. here. So you're ahead on appeal, so I'm going to take this one. Yep, because you're ahead of me on quality, which means you'll get to use that for your agent. Mm -hmm. And then I'm here, and Wait, I'm going to... did gonna, that one. What? No, we did not. Yes, we did. Oh, this one is what I meant. You're yeah, yeah. here. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna get both. So another two points for mm -hmm. me. 
Okay. Okay. Perfect. No. Okay. So I get this one because you don't have some. We have there. to pay resource yep. for it. Okay. Then three. These are my agents, so I will pay three um, goods mm -hmm. for these three demand coins. So you got three. So I get three points there. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Did you gain your points? I did. Okay. I believe. Then we go to five. So nope. Eight. Four. Eight. So I will pay so two So it's goods. just you, so you get two points. Mm -hmm. I'll move you up there. And then I am here alone, so I get these two. Yes. You have so to pay for them. I get two points. I did. Okay. Then we go to 12. That's me, so I will pay three. For these three here, I get three points. Mm -hmm. So, go to 12. And then you're I'm here. Higher. So we're both here, but you're higher on price, which means you get and to I turn it in pay. first. All right, so that's yours. Yep, so boom, me up one. All right, so you're up there. And then we go to here, you're yep, there. Yep, that's me, so one. here's one for one. Mm -hmm. All right. There you have it. Okay. That is the end of the tally phase for spring. Now we're going to move into summer recruiting. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's go with, and you had the starting player token, right? Which for means spring? you'll get, yeah, for. No, 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 you were summer. I was spring, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, which means I get the starting, mm, I'm trying to remember who goes first during the recruit phase. Because you don't recruit at the beginning of winter. Um, yeah, you do it spring, summer, fall. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, yeah, the season starting player. So we're in summer, summer so, so it's, it's me because I have the summer starting uh, starting card. So what do I want? Ooh, I definitely want this. Oh, but that's another play a racketeer. Dang, that's good. But this is better. Okay. So you have a player racketeer. And then you have a black market analyst. The black market analyst. Okay, so the underboss is going to go. You get three new ones. Oh, there's another mall, and you get to go first. So here's a recruiter. Recruiters are cool because you can draw three cards, repay favors, keep zero. It's like a mall, but there's a poaching effect where you can hire rival agents from guild with more agents than you. So you get to rem remove the rival agent. Uh, you place an agent anywhere on the map. So you basically, it's like a replacement effect. Mm -hmm. um, you go first. Oh, I go first. I yeah, like it's on you. Oh man, I think I'm gonna go with Maul. Let's I mean, I mean, that lets me Good get option. rid of so many favors. It's so nice. All right, let's go into July. So we're going to. Well, at least I know I have two cards in my hand. <laughs> uh, draw one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five. Man, I re I'm trying to get up on Ingenuity because I want to draw more cards. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm first. Yes, no favors. This is going to be a strong turn. So, I did not. Oh, I drew both my malls. Both of them. Oh, man, I'm going to dig through all, all these cards. But I don't know if I want to activate them or not. Because I don't think I really have that many favors in my deck. I think they're all in my discard. So, I don't think I want to. But, all right, so the first thing we're going to do is... We're going to play a city guard, and I'm going to go up on appeal. Okay, so one favor. Mm -hmm. One card, one favor. Then I'm going to play the mad scientist. I'm going to get another favor, and I'm going to go up um, on ingenuity, finally. And then I'm going to play my diabolical genius. I'm going to pay four. Hey, okay, wait a second. Yes. We didn't put tokens oh, yeah, we got to generate demand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Nine, you nine didn't coins. go up on appeal, did you? Oh, it doesn't matter. I did anyway. go up. It doesn't it's matter. It's still three. three. Yeah, yeah. We got to generate three, our, our four, five, demand. Six, I was afraid about that, but we need seven, things to pay eight, for. Nine. It's like, come on now. There we go. Nine, 14. Oh, wow. Oh. 14's a party over here. Oh, and you have a racketeer and an agent? Man, that's not cool. Not cool. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, I will finish. I'm going to pay four to not take a favor, and I go up on quality and ingenuity. So here's my four resources, my supplies, mm -hmm. my market. I also need to go up on price, or quality. Which one? Quality. Yep, so, so I'm in three to one. one. Oh, if only. Um, I am not going to activate these cards because I don't want to, I want to draw what's in my, my deck. I don't want to go okay. through it. I only have two favors. So I'll put those back. Okay. 
So I'm going to do take one to do two quality. Mm, actually, I'm just going to pay three. You're at three to one. Yeah. Three to one ratio is great. And I'm going to go two quality. Oh my goodness. Yep. And then I'm going to do... Wow. I will take one to go up one appeal and, and one ingenuity. One ingenuity. Yep. So now you I just hit six the cards. six cards. So yep. now each round... And one appeal. You'll go up. You'll draw and six. And then do I want to place an agent or do I want to move an agent? I want to place. For sure. Oh yeah. Get those agents out okay. there. So I'm... You have to take two. I'm going to pay three and just take one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then I can place an agent. You know what? No one's at fifteen yet. And those cards there. There's tokens there. There's tokens. Yeah. Okay. So that is the end of July. So. Earn our goods. So five, I get five. Six, one, two, oh three, wow! You moved up quality far enough. Five. So five for yeah. me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Start paying stuff off. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna probably next like in a couple of rounds go so far up those mm -hmm. that you won't even have to take any favors. Okay, so two, three, four. So generate five, demand. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. One, two, three, four. So fifteen, sixteen. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. Nine, three, twelve, mm -hmm. eight, sixteen. 15. Oh my gosh, there's so much at 15. This is ridiculous. I'm jumping in on that party. No, you're not. And uh, you're Fight the me. starting player. <laughs> you're the starting five. player now. Six! I get six cards now. Hallelujah. You do get six. I'm okay. one short from getting six. Good, because I have four favor. Oh no! <laughs> it's all favor? Yes! <laughs> I should have played Maul. I told you to! <laughs> And you were like, no, I have such good cards, I'm going to draw, it's going to be so great. Oh my gosh. If I would have played Maul, I would have hit all five of those favors, and they would have gotten rid of, oh man, I'm so dumb. I can't believe you had two of them, why wouldn't you just play one? And you were like, no, I'm not going to play these. Oh okay. my goodness, so that's amazing. Time. So I'm going to do Thief, I'm going to move two goods into my city, but I'm going to pay oh, man. The feels. three. To not take a good. That was my own fault, though. Hundred percent. Okay, 100%. and then mad scientist. Going up on ingenuity. Yeah, I'm gonna do it up in ingenuity, but I'm gonna pay three, so don't take. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was amazing. All right, okay. let's go to the next. So earn Wait, goods. Five. Five for six. me. One, two, three, four. Five. You're gonna deplete our stock. Sorry, right, I'll give you like One, a dice two, or something three, to track it. Four, five. <laughs> well, don't worry, I'll be spending them, so I don't have to take favors, so... Okay. That's true. And then we have to do, um, yeah. tokens. So Adam and Woody two, said they four, were screaming five, at the screen, six, what is seven, he doing? Eight, of course. Of okay, course. One, two, three. I would four, be yelling at myself, five, too, six, like, man, y'all so dumb, for real. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, to be a designer watching people play your game wrong. Oh, it's not even, it's not necessarily wrong. That it's was just a like, wrong decision. That was not a, a, that was a smart wrong decision. decision. <laughs> that was very wrong. We'll just say mistakes were made. I would leave it at that. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Six cards for me. Um, you all right. first in yes. September. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm actually scared to flip these over. I'm excited. I think it's going to be awesome. Because I had two moles. <laughs> And I could have gotten through both of these stacks. Not bad. Okay, not bad. So there's that. Okay, I don't feel so bad. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play my guild leader. Uh, which means I'm going to have to draw, shuffle my deck. Oh, you're going to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hold on a second. So I do, I do need a favor. Okay. I do need a favor. But I need to draw and I don't have any cards in my deck, mm -hmm. so... Um, draw three. Okay, so get rid of all the favors. This mm -hmm. gets discarded. Unfortunately, I wish I could have kept it. All right, so I don't need any more goods. I'm good with that. You're so good with goods. So I'm not going to activate the thief, but I am going to activate both of these, and I'm just mm -hmm. going to pay three to one resources. Actually, 
How many resources am I going to need to pay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, You know what? Eight, Bring on the nine, favor. Ten, Give it to me. Okay. I got malls. Bring, um, How I'm, many favor? You need two favor? I need two favor. Okay, Bring well, it on. Give me your cards. I go up quality and price. Twice. So, so okay, one quality? on each. Okay. There we go. Well, you said twice. Okay, my turn? Yes, it is your okay, turn. Two favor. Repay. Okay. So I'm going to go... That I'm was just so, gonna do the that was leader. so amazing. I'm gonna do plus two reputation. Oh, you're going for the victory points. I am. Okay. She's turning the page. Now she's going for the kill. Okay. Am I gonna place a racket here? I am. One, two. So I don't wanna take any, so I have to pay six. Okay, where do I wanna place him? A racketeer? Mm -hmm. Um, You could snipe something here. You don't have anything here. I have a racketeer there, so. No, 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 here's what I meant. I know. Here, I have this racketeer just hanging in the saloon right now. Let me go here. Okay, yep, 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 okay. yep. So I paid for that. Okay, and then we're gonna do one appeal. Okay. Does it have last move advantage? No. No, it does okay. not. And then I'm gonna take one favor for plus one ingenuity. Okay. Plus one quality. Okay. So nice. I only took one favor. All right. So let's go to the. Uh, well, let's earn our goods. Mm -hmm. So I think Target, I'm at five. Five, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five for you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll move one, into four, the six. tally okay. phase. Yep. So let's go ahead and look at each of the um, racketeers. racketeers. So I have a racketeer here. So mm -hmm. I'm going to take this for two points. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a racketeer here, so I, I guess take... you know what we'll just do it this way. Just if you have a racketeer, put it in your hand, and then we'll just add the victory points. We'll at the do end. racketeers first. Okay, so, so I have there, racketeer I have racketeer here. I have a racketeer here. Yep. So I will take. No, this one. no, yes. I have a racketeer there, so um, I just put him there. That was my last. Oh, thing. you then you so bumped you me there. out. Oh, you're so mean. Yeah. Okay, so I have six. Ah, oh, I have four, so that puts you at eighteen, and that puts me at seventeen. Okay. Oh, that was really rude. Yep. All right, so let's go to agents. So I have... So three, you can fulfill both of those. Uh -huh, so pay two. Okay, two for two points. Okay, here. Uh, that's four, you. that's me. So I will pay all four. So here's four goods mm -hmm. for four of these coins. And I'll get four points. Mm -hmm. So at 21. Okay, I have four here. So I'll pay one, two, three, four. There you go. Four points. Okay. I also have that, so I will pay four. My goodness. That's another four, four for you. Uh, 28. Okay, that's you. Do you yep, have three? Yep, three. I do have three. So here's these. Mm -hmm. And then there's those. So I go up to 24. Mm -hmm. uh, here, um, I'm beating you on appeal, and you're beating me on ingenuity. So I'll pay so one. So it's one and one. So, so you here you go. One. So one to one. Okay. And then I get both of these. Mm -hmm. And then you get all four of those. I only have enough to pay for two. Oh, so I guess the choice is yours. Which of the two do you want to pay for? I'll so take. These are the two I'm paying for. So you've beat me. You have me on ingenuity, uh -huh. but I have you on quality and price. Well, no, you have I me have, on quality. I'm gonna take these two. Okay, so you're gonna leave I'm those. I had on that one. Yep. Okay. All right. So I that's can fair. get them next round. That's fair. Okay, now we go to... Now we go to last recruit, and I'm the starting player for fall. You are. So let's go here. One, two, three cards. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have a money launderer. Mm -hmm. Ooh, open to closed merchant. Place an agent. Place all demand coins for merchant on the merchant. Oh, man, nope. I'm taking the enchanter. This card is awesome. Go up ingenuity. Mm. And I need to draw more cards in okay. my deck. Um, Designer's quality take, and price. Yeah, I'm That's open a closed merchant, oh, okay. which is worth victory points if you open a closed <laughs> merchant, like you can, yep. but I mean, okay. it's Next up to you. One. All right, so then you get the first pick here. We have a charlatan wizard, we have a spy master, and a recruiter. This one, please. Um, okay. so one, two, I'm actually going to take the. Sh oh man, this could be interesting. I'm gonna Three, take four, the recruiter. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So there's ten out there? There are. Alright, and I'm so starting player. 16, 16, 8. Well, I know for sure I'm gonna get four, to bump up my ingenuity finally. 12, 9, it's a 
about time. Four, three, 14. Yep. 16. All right. Wow, you pulled three 16s out of the bag? That's oh. awesome. All right, so here's my favor for the round. Okay. Turn that in. Mm -hmm. And then, oh man, I didn't hit any synergy, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But I did hit a <laughs> foot pad. So I will take, give me two. No, you know what? I'm going to pay three to one. So here's three resources, six resources for mm -hmm. two favor. I'm going to get to place an agent. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to place an agent. Where am I beating you at? I'm beating you in appeal. I already have an agent there. I don't have an agent there. I don't have one here. You're beating me in price. And that one's price. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I will go there. Yeah, we're in October. Yes, we are in okay, October. So one Hold on a second. I'm, no, I'm not done. Yeah. No, that was my first card. And then I'm going to take one favor to go up to Ingenuity. Yay! So now I uh, can draw six cards. I'm then going to hire a rival agent from the guild with more agents than you. Do you have more agents than me? Oh, you know what? You might not. How many agents do you have on the field? I have three in my reserve, and you have three? Mm -hmm. No, I'm just going to repay debts here. So I'm going to draw five cards, repay favors, play yeah. another mall. Oh, that worked out very well. So get rid of both of these. And then I don't get to keep anything. No, but I am going to go ahead and draw three and do the same thing with this uh, recruiter, mm -hmm. which is going to cycle through my whole deck. So I just did all of that, and there's another favor. Mm -hmm. And then that's the end of my turn. Okay. So I have one favor to put back. Okay. So let's talk about the synergy because I have it. Oh, right. Lizzie has synergy. Okay. So the way this works is the card that synergizes with the other card. So in this case, you have a financial mastermind mm -hmm. that synergizes with the copper pincher. So when Lizzie plays this card and she activates it, mm -hmm. she can play this card for free mm -hmm. without having to take favor and she can use it to go up on the price. So okay. that's how it works. So I only have to take one and I go up three on price. So one, two, three. I also have synergy with my craftsman. So I'm gonna go up Yep, I'm gonna take two for both of my upper ones. So that's one, two, three, four quality. So one, two, Oh my gosh, three, you went up four, four quality, quality in one turn? And one price. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Nice. Yep. That's, that's solid. All right, so we're going to November? Mm-hmm. All right, you're the starting player. Mm-hmm, again. We need so to generate. I get eight. Yep. One, two, three, four. I get five. five. Six, seven, eight. So and we generate two. demand. So demand three, is three, four, six, five. ten, fourteen, de fourteen demand coins. Yep, hang on. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm also at two to one. Yeah, you're at the two to one Yay. ratio. Oh, I'm, I'm at the six, I draw six, okay, finally. Fourteen. Fourteen of these, so just. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, so here, you take half and I'll take half. There you go, place those. So, so 12, Four. eight, another eight, 16, three, a 14, 14 a nine, eight. a 12, and a 15. Okay, so All right, one. draw your cards. Indeed. I get to draw six now, which is nice. And I drew one favor, so I'll just go ahead and remove that. But then you get to go first. Okay. Hey, I finally got uh, a synergy, Three, finally. Two. Okay, I only have two favor. Oh, I have a synergy. Okay, so two ingenuity, please. Two ingenuity? Mm -hmm. So that goes up to seven. Yes. You're now draw seven. And then one quality, so, and then I will pay two. Okay, so not here's. Take a card. Here's how this works, because this is the first time you've done it. You Did you already move up quality? I just, that maxed me out. Okay, so the way this works is if you max a mm -hmm. a, uh, a competition track, mm -hmm. you can retire a card 
and I need to find retiring yep, in I'm here. Do it. So what I believe happens is, yep, okay, so if you reach the top and you may retire guild members that helped you reach the top during that month. In subsequent months, when a guild member that impacts that same track comes into play, you can immediately retire it. This ability does not enable you to draw new cards from your draw pile. Uh, for each retired guild member, it's one it's one victory point. So I can retire the one that helped me do so it? So it says, um, you may retire guild members that help you help you reach the top of the track during that month. Yes. So you can retire those immediately to gain the points. The one that you just played. Oh, I don't want to because it also gives me Okay, but you can but retire that one, one for one victory, for one victory point. And then it will play... Okay, so I'm going to take two goods. Okay. And I'm going to take a favor. Nice. I'd rather have some goods that I can get the favors later. All right, so I have some synergy with the Enchanter and the Mad Scientist. Well... Oh wait, no I don't. Do I have the Mad Scientist? Nope, I lied. I saw a Mad Scientist twice and I'm like, no, that'd be awesome. Okay, so give me a favor for ingenuity and quality. Bump me up on quality, please. Um, I'm going to place an agent for two favors, please. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna place an agent here. And then I'm going to go up to Ingenuity by playing, here's three resources, and I go up uh, to Ingenuity, mm -hmm. one, two, and then I'm going to, and this is tough, I'm going to draw five, repay all favors, oh, it was only one, and then I'm not going to play my uh, recruiter, because I don't want to. Well, fine, I will. I'm gonna go ahead and then draw three, repay any favors. Okay, see, that I end up working out. And then I don't have, get to keep that one, so. All right, so we go into December, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to generate more demand. Yep, yep. So it's three, six, uh, eight, no, three, six, 10, 14 again. 14 demand. I get to draw seven cards, as do you. And you get... And I get uh, six six goods. Okay. Hey, Berkey, thanks for dropping in. It is a it is a very fun and cool looking game. Absolutely. Okay. And then we need how many? Four. Fourteen. Five, eight. It didn't change. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's almost all of them. So many coins. The people demand their goods. <laughs> they demand their goods. Yes, they do. Okay, and then I believe you are first. All right. Yeah, we already got our goods. So I got my six. You got however many you got your goods for that round. And then we're generating demand for December. This is the last round of the game. Draw seven cards. Four. Come on, no whammies. No whammies. Come on. I want my turn. I want my turn. I know, but I'm ready. I to still go. need to draw three cards. Do you want to cut my deck? No, I believe you're fine. I'm gonna cut my deck for me. One, two, three. All right, here we go. Oh, yes, only one favor. Ooh, that was pushing it close. Okay, let's look for, okay, I don't have, I do. I have Guild Leader and Maul. Perfect. So I am going to, because this is the last round, there's no sense in not diving into my deck. So I will um, draw five. Repay all favor. Mm -hmm. So just one. Discard the rest. Then, because I played the mall, it has synergy with the guild leader. I don't have to pay to draw three. So I almost cycled through my entire deck in that one turn. Favor, and I get to keep one of these cards. And I'm going to keep the enchanter because this now is going to bump me up ahead of Lizzie. So give me one favor. Mm -hmm. And I go up two. So that puts me up there. Um, and then I'm going to 
place an agent by taking two favor. Uh, actually, am I at three to one? Yeah, we're at three to one. Mm, yeah, give me two favor. I know it's worth victory. I know it's negative victory points at the end, but I'm all right with that. You'd rather have good to pay for victory points. Yeah. Where are you placing him? I'm gonna place it here. Okay. And then I also am going to. Man, I could place my last racketeer. Is that gonna be worth it? It will be actually. So here's three goods and give me one favor. And then I'm gonna place my racketeer. I'm gonna place it here. You can't, you already have a racketeer there. Oh, that's a racketeer? Oh, you're right. I'll place a racketeer here. You can kick me out? Yep, and I'll kick you out and you'll go to the hideaway. And I'm not gonna activate either of these because I don't. Oh, but going up price gives me one more extra good. But is it worth taking? Because it's essentially gonna give me negative victory points. Mm -hmm. But again, I'm. <sighs> this is the decision that could change the game. I could win or lose based on this decision. You know what? Give me two more favors. Uh, I'm gonna steal two goods, and I move up on price. Mm -hmm. Okay. You done? I'm done. I get three favors I need to get rid of. I'm done. I get to retire my spy master. Uh, yes, you do. You get a victory point. Very nice. I'm going to place a racketeer. Okay. And I'm going to pay. Uh, it would be four. I'm going to do two and take one. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna place it right here. Now remember, you are gonna get more goods at the end of this month. I so. know. Okay. Just to make sure, I, there's a lot out there. I wanna make sure I have <laughs> enough. I know, I know, I know. <sighs> totally get it. It's a racketeer? Mm-hmm. Okay. Where's it going? <laughs> So pretty much I can just tie you in any one section. Correct. I'll go here, I guess. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then I will take the two reputation points for my guild leader. Okay. And then I will take one appeal. Okay. And, and one ingenuity? No, because I'm already behind you. It's not going to put me ahead. Yeah, it's not so going to do I'm anything. I'm going to take the. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Let's turn our goods. So okay, I get a total of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. All right. This four, is it. This is for five, the game right six, here. Seven, eight. We had enough. We never ran out. <laughs> Cut it close. All right, so now we're going to go into um, the season tally. Mm -hmm. So extorting, starting with me up here, I'm gonna extort this. So I extort here, Hi. I extort here. We'll just go in a line here. here. I extort here, nobody, I you, here, so what's and here, and um, here. You extort all three of I'm those. Take that one because you're ahead of me there. Okay, now we're we're here, uh, so you need to see what's here. I'm ahead of you. No, you're ahead of I'm me on appeal. This one. Okay. All right. I extort here. I'm going to take that one again. And then that's it. Then no one. Okay, so, so I get six. I get six. Okay. So you six, go to 39 six. and I go to 33. Okay. All right, so now let's go to... Why don't we just take these off? That'll make no, it no, 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 no. Leave them because if in the game out. scoring. No, right? no, no. Leave no? them. Okay. Just leave them. All right, so three. Those so are all yours. So that's all me. So I have one, two, three, four. So four points. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, this is all me. So two... Three, four, five. There you go. I get five points. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. So then we're tied. Oh wait, six. Then goes to eight. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so I'm ahead on ingenuity. I'm ahead on price and quality. No, price and appeal. I'm ahead on price and appeal. Those, so yeah. I get two. So here's one for me and two for you. Mm -hmm. So two for you and one for me. Mm -hmm. All right, nine. Okay, so um, I'm a, you're the only ahead on Ingenuity, I'm ahead on the other three. Correct. So I get three. So I get one and you get three. Here you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so up here, that's here, you have four. Yep, so here's four. Mm -hmm. And then I get these four. 
Okay, so four points for me. Okay. Um, we're here, here, we're so both there. I get so all four of those, actually. Mm, yep. Price, quality, yep. So four, so four points, please. Okay. okay. Fifteen, you get those two, nope. and I get these three. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I get three. You get three points? Mm -hmm. Here you go. And you get two. Yep. And then I get all of these. These are six. No, there's five of them. So I get all five of those. Do you have five to pay? I do. Look at that. Oh my gosh, perfect. Five. So close. It is now 55 to 51. That is how close the game is. Now, at this point, we finish the seasons. We go into end game scoring. Mm -hmm. So, the way we're going to do this is I'm going to pull out the handy dandy, uh, yeah. the uh, scorecard here. I mean, the rule book. So, at the end of the game, Can we I need to. Can I favors now with my stuff? No. <laughs> All right, so. First, we're going to go to Turf War. Mm -hmm. Reputation points are awarded for first, second, and third place based on the number of agents or uh, guild figures in the region. Mm -hmm. Racketeers and hangouts do count. Uh, guilds must have at least one figure in a region to score. If there's a tie, rank the guilds based on their position on the quality track. So, being that's a tiebreaker. So, I have three to two, so I get five points. I get three. One, two, three. Okay. I have three to your two, so mm -hmm. I get another five. One, two, we're tied right now. Mm -hmm. I have three to three here, I so you win. get the five and I get the three. three four, five. And then I have three to your mm -hmm. two, so I get five. Two, three. So we are tied right now, 69 to 69. Now comes, this is it, right here, favor. Who ended with the most favor in their deck? Probably me. Because that's negative points. <laughs> that's negative one point. I only have two over here. How many do you have? You're already at four. I'm not. How many do you have? How many do you have? Uh, I haven't counted them yet. Uh -huh. How many do I you have? I will reveal when you reveal. Let me count them. Don't look. Um, I have one. Liar. <laughs> I have six. I have four. No! <laughs> you beat me by <laughs> two, that was two so stinking close. points. I don't even know what kind of accent. You're so bad at accents. Just stop trying. <laughs> Two points. So bad. That was awesome. That was so close. So, um, the player with the highest reputation, you are announced the reigning guild of the Sprawl. Congratulations. You are now the reigning guild. You have the Solse Gym. Uh, please don't uh, snap your fingers and kill people. Uh, <laughs> that's how you play Blunderbund. What a game. Super fun. My goodness, what a game. Super cool. Uh, so thank you so much for sticking around with us. Uh, thanks for watching. We were excited that you were here. Thank you to Adam and Woody for being here watching the, uh, the stream as well and for nudging us to remember the, the, the little things here and there. Uh, it's always appreciated. You think so, that mall, if you'd taken mall, that mall, um, you would have lost five and then like another couple. If I would have taken the mall, I would have won. Probably. Because that was a turn in which I didn't take any actions. Mm -hmm. I didn't go up any tracks. I didn't get anything. So had I taken the mall action, that was my downfall. In fact, twice actually, because in the second okay. set of five, there were two more favors. Yeah. So I could I had two of them. I could have dug 10 cards deep. Um, yeah, so very, very cool. Yeah. So if you have a time, go take a look at their Kickstarter page. Uh, also, we have a Kickstarter preview video up for this. Uh, but as you can see, this game speaks for mm -hmm. itself. If this is something you find yourself drawn to or you're interested in it, like deck building, uh, worker placement, resource management, uh, resource tracks, and uh, yeah, a lot of now. really, really fun. Oh yeah, stand up these little uh, figure figures here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's drive, jump over here to the heads. So we just want to say thank you for, for sticking with us and uh, for joining us. If you're watching this post uh, live, thanks for watching and we hope that you enjoyed the video and we will see you all um, soon. Yeah, we'll see you soon. <laughs> see everybody. Bye.